Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here we have Suki assisting me as usual. Anyways, so my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos, so if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how I make air dry clay Christmas ornaments and these are the tools you will be needing. So basically you need a rolling pin, a, a few sculpting tools, some cookie cutters which are Christmas themed, air dry clay of course and a bit of water. I will explain to you step by step what I'm doing, this is a pretty easy beginner friendly tutorial. So you start off by rolling out your air dry clay, kind of as you would uh, if you are baking a pie. Uh, I keep it pretty thick because I like the ornaments to be thick enough and then I start using the cookie cutters to cut out the shapes I want. So for these ornaments I chose four shapes, a cat of course, a bird, a horse and a bear. I also poke some holes uh, in them which will be used for hanging them up on your tree. Basically after I cut the shapes I try to smooth out the edges as much as I can, poke the holes in them and then I leave, leave them to dry for about 48 hours just so they are completely dry. So once they are dry, after about two days, I use sandpaper to smooth out any remaining imperfections. Uh, it's good to wear a mask if you are doing this process. Uh, the dust from the air dry clay can be pretty bad for your lungs, so do make sure you take precautions. And I also use a brush to remove the excess dust from the shapes and when I'm done with all of them, I usually use a wet brush just so there is no dust on them. For painting them and decorating them, I recommend using acrylic paint or acrylic gouache. In this case, I'm using acrylic gouache from Liquitex and also from Holbein. The reason I say use acrylic is because it will stand the test of time and most varnishes don't really work with gouache or other types of paint. So acrylic is the safest way to go. So for decorating them, I wanted to do like a green and red kind of vibe and to decorate the <laughs> animal shapes uh, with some Christmas sweaters and just some simple decorations which you can do even if you're not very good at drawing. So the thing about acrylic gouache is that it layers very well, it dries matte and it's very opaque and I prefer it much more than acrylic paints now to each their own I guess. So I will let you watch the rest of the decoration process. I also use some white acrylic gouache on top to add the uh, decorative elements. Some of the elements had to be done in two layers just so they are fully opaque but I'm pretty happy with this DIY project and uh, yeah I will let you watch the rest of the painting and I'll see at the end of the video where I varnish them and explain the varnishing process. For varnishing the pieces I use this acrylic uh, gloss varnish from Cru Cruel, Cruel, I don't know, I'll leave a link to it in the description box. Uh, it's by far the best varnish I've used so far, it dries down really 
fast it's um, synthetic resin based and uh, it doesn't go yellow in time nor white as I've had happen with some varnishes so I definitely recommend it if you can find it and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on it and I'll see you in the next one bye